Good morning. It's the end of the first quarter already of 2022. It's hard to believe how quickly three months has gone by. And as I look out the window and I still see snow, spot, snow piles, it doesn't feel like spring, but it is coming. So I want to just give you some quick market stats. I want to start with the entire MLS. So when we look at active new listings, which is what most buyers are asking, is what is the new inventory going to start to hit the market? I can tell you that we are down 25% in the month of March on new inventory, and year to date, we are down a total of 22%. Um, it's crazy to think of pre-COVID numbers. So on average, around this time of the year, our whole MLS would have about 1,200 to 1,500 listings active. This year, we are at roughly 850 to 860. So those are some pretty significant numbers. The one glimmering thing of hope on new inventory, however, is if we go back to pre-2021, we are actually only down 6% in March on new inventory. So I do believe this we are this year, as we get into the year, we're gonna see a little catching up. Now, if we take a look at units closed for the entire MLS region, we, the end of the month of March was down by 38%, but year to date, we are down by 30%. Um, so we did see an uptick in the month of March on things closing. And what I can tell you positive as well is that we had more pending sales in March this year than we did last year. So things, I think we are going to see a little bit of catching up in April. And again, if we go back to 2018, 2019, and 2020, we're going to see that March was only, again, about 6% down. So again, things are catching up. And we have to remember last year was an anomaly. We had record-breaking record sales in 2021. And if we go back to a five-year average, that number is not off by that much. Um, now I'd like to dial in and zoom in a little bit on Oneida and Vilas County, the two counties in which I work. And as you can see, I've got a couple of charts I'm gonna show here, but as you can see, new listing inventory in the month of March is down the fifth year in a row, and it's down by 28% this year. Um, interestingly enough, sales are down also, but they are they are up compared to 2018, 2019, and 2020. Again, just showing us what a yet record year 2021 was up here. So um, we are seeing improvements in the market. We are seeing new inventory come on every day. And the one question I get over and over again is, you know, where are the new listings? Well, part of our makeup of the Northwoods is that when spring comes late, so does new inventory come late. So I think we are hit with historically low amount of inventory, but we were also hit historically with a really, really tough spring this year, which is making a lot of sellers wait to come up and open up their cabin, wait to want to list their property because they want it to look perfect at the time that they're hitting the market and really wait to get out there until you can actually see the lake and see the frontage. So I think we're kind of hit with a little bit of a double, double whammy this year. And I do believe that we are going to see an influx of new listings come on the market this year. Um, Another thing that I've been kind of keeping track of is where is the chaos in the marketplace? Um, my buyer's agents have, I have three, four buyer's agents that are out in the field writing offers, previewing homes constantly, and we're really keeping track of where the chaos is. And I can tell you that right now, the biggest pain in the marketplace seems to be between 400 and about 650 to 700. So if you are a buyer in that marketplace, you need to be very aggressive with what you're doing and you need to be working with an agent that can really dial you in on how to draft an offer that is rock solid really um, to put the seller in a strong position for them to want to accept your offer and if you're a seller and you think you're between four and seven hundred you really need to be talking to an agent that knows how to price you and put you in this market to get the attraction that is going to bring multiple buyers to your property because that puts you as a seller in the strongest position to be king of the hill and dictate the terms that you want for your offer um, hopefully this helps a little bit if you're specifically wanting to know what's happening in your market or on your lake please reach out to me directly so that i can help guide you through the process that's what i do and as always if you're looking to move in or move out of the northwoods give us a call we would love to have you as a new neighbor up here in the beautiful Northwoods of Wisconsin.